As the Occupy movement enters its third month and arrests and police crackdown has intensified, actions are being held today across the country. In Boston, protesters are marching from Dewey Square, where an encampment remains following a judge's ruling that protected participants' right to stay. And in Denver and Portland, both places where police used pepper spray and made violent arrests in recent days, participants have planned multiple rallies. In New York, birthplace of the Occupy movement, activists, students and organized labor marched through the streets of Lower Manhattan to Wall Street. Community News Production Institute reporter Jess O'Nor brings us the story from New York. Hundreds of Occupy protesters kicked off the two-month anniversary of the Occupy movement at 7 a.m. this morning by descending on New York's financial district to try and shut down the stock exchange. Demonstrators, including Julia Henchu, used direct action to disrupt pedestrian and vehicular traffic. I hopped around between a few different intersections, and I knew at some point we were holding four or five intersections. People were sitting down in the center of intersections. The New York Police Department responded by arresting dozens, blocking off many streets completely, and only allowing stock exchange employees with work IDs onto Wall Street itself. Shame! Shame! Protester Anthony Romero says the police used violence against peaceful protesters. And they just beat up another protester. It's about the fifth protester that I've seen them beat up today. When I tell you they beat them up, they beat them up using billy clubs. S- severe. To me it was severe. I ain't never seen nothing like it in my life, and I think it's a shame because they really weren't doing nothing. Many workers complained of being unable to reach work on time. Although the stock exchange opened as usual at 9.30, Alejandro Carvalho says the police response played into the protesters' favor. Uh, What happened pretty much was the NYPD helped us do do our job. We wanted to shut down um, Wall Street and its surroundings, and they helped us achieve the mission, achieve the task. Police made further arrests as protesters marched back to Zagati Park to prepare for the day's other events, including Occupy the Subway and an action plan by public school parents and teachers to occupy the steps of the city's education department. College students have called for a strike and organized demonstrations and teach-ins. In addition to a rally at Foley Square, demonstrators have organized an evening march across the Brooklyn Bridge. Jessel Noor, FSRN, New York.